Uh, today we have rain, we have fog, we have high winds, and the high winds are on the nose. We are approaching Arnamakan Point, there's the lighthouse. Arnamakan Point is the most westerly point on the British mainland. Uh, the lighthouse standing there is um, the only one in the world, apparently, built in the Egyptian style. I don't know what that means, and I don't know if we'll be able to tell, uh, but that apparently is the case. It was built by one of the Stevenson dynasty. Um, many of the British lighthouses, of, uh, the early lighthouses, were built by the Stevensons. Um, one at Bell Rock we saw recently, uh, and this one also is a Stevenson one. Uh, Robert Louis Stevenson is part of the family, but he was a writer, of course, uh, not an engineer. There was a dynasty of engineers, um, and the last one of them uh, was working into the 20th century. But this lighthouse at Ardmacken Point, I think, was built by Alan Stevenson, as we say, apparently in the Egyptian style. Through the murk, we could just about pick up Mull in the distance. Uh, we won't be going to Mull. Um, we realised we would have to shelter from this bad weather that's coming over the next couple of days. It's pretty bad now, but it's going to get a lot worse. So we contacted Malague Marina and were turned away, no space. Um, we set out for Tobermory, knowing that it was much larger and lots of visitors' berths. We rung them up, no space. They have offered us a shared mooring buoy, but the prospect of being on a shared mooring buoy, bouncing about in the wind and rain, and it being very difficult to go ashore for three or four days did not really appeal. Luckily we had a plan uh, C and a plan D, and plan C looks like it might be the one we're going to go for. So we're going to go round um, and Point in a moment, and then we're going to head down the Sound of Mull towards Loch Aline. And Loch Aline has a small marina, it has some space, and I am very much looking forward to getting in there, to um, tying the boat up safely and making sure she's secure for the bad weather to come and enjoying a bit of rest for a few days whilst the weather blows itself out. A better view now of uh, the lighthouse. I'm not sure if it looks particularly Egyptian to me, but it's a fine piece of engineering. There's the foghorn, probably disused now. I discovered at the Lighthouse Museum that the wonderfully impressive systems of lenses and, prims and prisms uh, that are often seen in photographs of old lighthouses are no longer needed. Uh, they were needed because the light sources available in the old days, um, typically uh, wicks or candles or later tilly lamp type of things which worked on acetylene gas, they just weren't bright enough. So they needed the wonderful rays of lights, of, of lenses and prisms to um, make the beam uh, able to travel far enough to um, do the job. But now with uh, much more modern bulbs, light sources, um, much smaller um, lens and prism systems are required and those huge impressive old ones are now museum pieces. Weather's well, cleared a bit as we approach uh, the lighthouse. Better view now. Mike is motoring as well, we're both motoring. We've got no choice because the wind is right on the nose and it's really, really blowing quite strongly. Um, I'm 20 knots at the minute. There's a yacht in the distance, has her sails up, but she's going the other way, so she'll have the wind with her and we'll be able to sail. When we get into the Sound of Mull in a moment, um, which will be a turn to port after rounding out the Macken Point, uh, we will have the wind um, on our starboard beam and we may then be able to sail for a bit. Perhaps there'll be a bit of shelter in the sound. We have now reached Ardnavakan Point, and this is the most westerly point we will reach on our circumnavigation. Six degrees, 13 and a bit minutes west. And as I said, the most westerly point of the British mainland. Whatever is architectural style, the lighthouse is truly impressive. In the 
beautiful piece of engineering. Very elegant, very sturdy, and obviously it will be there for many, many years to come. Mike has just come over in front of me. Perhaps hoping to get in the video. So there we are, Mike's in the video. And we're both enjoying this. now in the distance and we'll now be heading to port into the sound of Mull on our way to our marina berth at Loch Aline.